Let's go. Look up and smile at the camera. I'm cold, freezing my tits off. <laughs> It's only Jordan Farley at the Trader Fire stand. You're, oh you're here representing goodness. Trader Fire. I've met my hero. It's finally happened. Yeah, Nick Bundy, he was, just, he was just over there, look, chatting up the ladies. <laughs> He's doing it right. Yeah, you are shorter than I expected, though. I must admit, uh, yeah, and fatter. A, a man of your stature, I was imagining that you would be no, physically I, 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 taller I'm, as well. I'm sorry to know. disappoint you. But <laughs> well, you have a little bit, but, you know, well, yeah. you can't. You I, I do that. Never meet enough. your heroes, that's what they say, right? Well, I, I'm not sure that's not the case. And congratulations on your meteoric rise in the sub count there. You've done very well over a very short time, haven't you? Well, you know, um, I, I remember the days when you were, had a third of my subs. So I liked you more back then. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, when you don't swear that much, it helps. <laughs> is, is that where I'm going on? <laughs> I don't think I can rein it in, to be fair, yeah. so I'm, I'm kind of stuck with where I am. But, yeah. but thank you for coming down to the dirty end of YouTube here. Well, it smells a bit funny down here, I know, but... Uh, yeah, sometimes well, we've, got to, we've got to lower ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to meet at last. I don't think we've met before, have we, in, no. in real life? No, no, it's bizarre when you've watched some of quite a while, so you feel like you know them, and then you, you meet them uh, in real yeah. life. And then you find they're shorter and fatter than you expected. It, exactly, yeah. Massive disappointment. So you're here for two days with Trader Fire. Just today, yeah, just this morning, on the trade if I stand and then this afternoon I'm just oh, going to be wandering well. around. They've only got Nick Bundy on the screen over there as well. Yeah, <laughs> I, I Where's did you? You're supposed to be on the screen there. about that. I was just like, uh, excuse me, uh, you didn't get the memo? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I guess they went for uh, for looks over sub numbers. Uh, I mean, that's debatable. <laughs> oh, no, no, right. <laughs> but yeah. Linda and I are walking around for two days here, just because oh, wow. we're skivers. But uh, oh, so you, know. you, you're just asking me on your channel how much you think people, uh, how much electricians make and, uh, and other trades. Well, yeah. we don't make very much because we're skiving for a couple of days. So <laughs> there you go. That is the freedom of uh, running your own business and yeah, prioritising time <laughs> over money. Do you ever miss the, the simple days of YouTube? I remember my early days, oh, I used yeah. to just grab my iPad, film something, stick it out there. Do you ever sort of miss the, the simplicity of it all? It's, the, the expectations now are that it's a lot more edited, I find. For I totally agree, yeah. yeah. And I'm, we're actually trying to go a little bit more back to the old style of just doing a bit more in-depth electrical content because you've kind of got this weird thing where you're like trying to please the masses and then you lose the core audience. Oh, right, yeah. it's, it's so, a balancing act isn't it? Yeah so I'm just focusing on quality over quantity at the moment. We're not posting nearly as much as we were before but we're just trying to put stuff out there that's really actually going to help people. Well, you've, you've got the numbers now so. Wow well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, well, thanks for your time. Thanks. I have a good show. Hello. I'll tell you what, you come to London and all the A-listers are here. Ooh. And Nick Bundy. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah, he's around Everybody's somewhere. here. We've got Camilla Sparks. We just saw you handling your massive tool. Yeah, it was a mahoosive. Oh. Oh. What are you thinking of the show? Is it, do you, I, I suppose this is local to you, this one, isn't it? Yeah, this is local. I literally uh, I work five minutes from here. Half my jobs are all in this area. And this show has gone a lot better than the, the last few times I've been. Oh, uh, really? Really? Yeah, you seem, uh, a lot better. More football and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and a lot more interactive, which is what I think they needed. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I'm glad it's working out. So, uh, what you, you started reviving your channel a bit more lately? I yes, think. I have. But then I took a week off because I've been so busy working. Because I don't know how you do yeah. what you do. Yeah, you know, I don't know how you, be, you and uh, Jamie, my best friends. I don't know how you be. Best. Hi, Jamie, if you're watching this. I wouldn't say best friends. Uh, he'll, he'll be upset. He'll make cry. <laughs> I don't actually like the guy, but. <laughs> you know, sometimes you get stuck. Yeah, absolutely. Well, nice to see you anyway. You're here for the two days. Yeah, yeah, I'll be here today and tomorrow. You affiliated with any particular stand? No. Nah. 
Ah, so you're just right. floating free like flowing, we are. Free-flowing, yes. Free-flowing, I like that. That's about, <laughs> sounds better than floating. <laughs> floating sounds a bit more turd-like, but <laughs> probably what we're doing more, oh. more often. Yeah. Uh, free-flowing. Nice to see you again. It's been a while. Nice to see you. Where were you supposed to be on the podcast last week, weren't you? I was, but then I forgot, and I was already like driving, and then it was just chaotic. You forgot? How can you forget? It's Jamie and Sam. I know, I know, but I did promise them I'm going to be on this Sunday. Right, okay. Yeah, and no, I forgot about that. Uh, I will be there. You know, I'll add it to my diary now so that I don't Yeah, yeah. So, uh, tuning for that, although this will be edited after that, I imagine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you, you can rewatch watch it on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, do that. Right now. Do that. So, it's my pajamas. To answer your question. Oh, is that your suitcase? So, and oh, the girls are off talking about what's in their cases. <laughs> We've only got a mic from Mike's Electric stuff. That's a popular channel. Uh, popular issue among certain uh, demographics. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, Maybe ex- slightly more technical than yours. Excellent content, yes. Yeah, so uh, you were recently tearing down a Wi-Fi circuit breaker. Yes. Uh, lots of other nuggets of information to be found on there. Yeah. Like you know, the fact that you can reset the circuit breaker over Wi-Fi, I thought was just uh, yeah, hilarious. That, that, that was just that, that was quite the thing, quite the thing. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not so sure it meets certain standards that yeah, thing, but yeah. uh, but yes, do don't check I, out. I've also stuff. tried and failed to get one of those Hager breakers to trip on art faults. Oh, have so you? It's not just you. You've had it. Yeah, but I, I'm going to ask them about that today, but I might leave till near the end yeah, of the day. They've probably got people on the lookout for you at the moment. <laughs> Security. Yeah, maybe, uh, I'm wearing a high vis as well, which probably isn't very wise. <laughs> but they'll, they'll have you tracked and killed. Mm-hmm. But never mind. Well, nice to bump into you. Yeah, yeah. This is your first time at Ali Pali? Uh, no, I'm, I'm fairly local, so I usually come uh, just to see if there's anything interesting going on. Really dodgy check that needs staring down. <laughs> <laughs> is that Maxi? Are yes. you Maxi? Oh, wow! <laughs> Another fan. Yeah. Yeah, people don't often recognise me, except but, but, so I don't appear on screen very often. But yeah, it's more the voice, isn't it? My voice, I'll be talking to someone and someone will walk past and say, oh, yeah, I recognise that. Have you said such a sandy sword? I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it off that. Would you oh, like okay. a special exclusive Mike's Electric Stuff flashy back? Oh, only for my favourite YouTubers. Bloody hell, Bloody look at that. Bloody exclusive. Hang on. <laughs> Have you made these? Yes. Basically, they're... Each LED has got its own little fashion chip built in. Ah, uh, that hence the <laughs> randomization or apparent randomization. David, look at this! Touch switch on the back. You might need a very slightly moist finger to turn it on and off. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it'll start off in sync and then they sort of gradually. Yes, yeah. Incredible. I've got some IKEA lights that work like yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's super. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. It's a bit of a fiddle, but they're quite secure. I can figure it out. Yeah. You, you pin it on me, girl. I'll pin it on you. But the wrong specs. People are going to be asking me where I got this from. I'll be like, it's, yeah. it's a Mike's Electric Stuff exclusive. It's exclusive, yeah. exclusive. Not that you can't buy it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here we are. David, it's on me. No, it's not the There you go. Yeah. You've got to figure out how to turn it on, though. Uh, wet my finger, or would it do what? Uh, no. oh, it is actually labelled. The small one is the arm. The small no. one's the arm. Yeah, the small one. Now I see. There we go. Oh, check out my team! <laughs> Cheers, Mike! Bring a woman to a trade show and she's all into fucking clothes and bags. Um, <laughs> You're not a TK Maxx now, you know. There's no price tag on here. Do you think oh, I've got one of those bucket things I keep in the van. Yes, I know. Um, it's like a fancy restaurant. If there, if there are no prices on the menu, you probably can't afford it. Probably not. So there are no prices on here, does that mean I And also, uh, we were just looking at the jackets as well, but the, the jackets are all like extra large. It's true, you can come to these trade shows and they cater for the fat bastard. That's why I haven't asked for the free t-shirt this time, because it's all going to be extra large. I know, yeah, like tents. It's like, you know, we're not all fat fuckers. No, I mean, look at Linda. Smelt. And she'd have bought a jacket. It's because I work for someone. Had they not got just extra large. Jackets are stunning, though they are orange. Mm, yeah, I quite like the jackets, but. From standpoint, the mat. Should I go and buy one? Thank you. Should we shoplift one? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, you see, it's corporate colour. Corporate colour, it's, it's the right colour. It's only about 100 quid. 100 quid. Shame they don't have svelte sizes. Oh, look at this, it's fucking swimming. Mm, I know. I'm in the corner, saying nothing. Sitting in a pub with my eyes closed. Swaying to a power balance. Shedding tears at a high note. Like my hands are frozen, I forgot my gloves My heart is broken, I don't want no love Love, just watch your guts If you're the type to feel what you touch No way, my hands are smoking on this hot teacup My heart is open, all I want is love Love will fuck you up If you're the type to feel what you touch No way, my hands are frozen, I ain't got no gloves My heart is broken, I don't want no love Love will rock your guts If you're the type to feel what you 
forget, what? forget what? George Moore Artisan, we got <laughs> A-list. That's right, boy. <laughs> right? Yeah, nice to see you again, old chap. And, uh, it's, what's it been, three days? It has, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, and here you are on the OB1 stand. So you can't, you can't do that. CT1, the one and only the best. Whatever. Uh, I, I haven't been paid to say that. I have to thank old Nicholas here because he has equipped me with some Bosch gear. I have. I have. Uh, following the, the sad loss of my Nikita. Well, I didn't nonsense. know about it. Fat Sam rang me from Electrician's Podcast. If you didn't know who Fat Sam was, pretty obvious he's fat. His name's Sam. He'll be here tomorrow, so you will oh, see Oh, is it tomorrow? Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. Um, he said, have seen Dave's video? I was like... No, why? Is it about <laughs> AFDDs by any chance? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Uh, it's Vansberg. So I just spoke to Dave. And I, if you guys know my channel, well, I have a copious amount of power tools. I give away to people over videos and whatnot, or privately, because... He's a generous chap, is our Well, the thing is, I did it... I, that one with a video I did ages ago, when I, I gave some guy all the power tools and I, it wasn't worth it the amount of grief I got from people in the background or the phone calls for the next two months people asking me to give them tools I was like well I don't have any because I've already given them all away oh well you you give him you're an arsehole and he went it was just like what's the point do you want me to cut this rant no 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 it's fine <laughs> but what I'm saying is I'd like to do it more often but it, a lot of stuff gets done in the background but to help a mate out it, it's crap the amount of people's tools that are stolen it's happened to me four times I know what it's like that's a nightmare I know I am lucky it's only happened once thus far well the thing is it it all happened when I had no money as well. So uh, yeah. I borrowed tools. I, I think the worst part, my dad gave me, because uh, it's just when he was diagnosed, he, he'd retired. So he gave me loads of his tools from, because he was a painter, like his drill, his radio, and all of that got stolen. Oh, and then sure. he died, and I lost all my dad's tools. Like the sentimental stuff was the worst to lose. Never replace it. That's the problem. I know a guy uh, who got robbed years ago, and he was saying, uh, when he found out, he actually cried. He was a big bloke as well, mm. and he said, and it was over the most stupid things because some of his hand tools he'd had since he was an apprentice, yeah. was like 20 years or whatever, and it was just like... Sucks. Yeah. It was a, it was a big pill to swallow. And after stuff, I didn't even realise because my van was that much of a mess until, like you said in your video, until you start going to look for it and to use it oh, and it's yeah. not there. I mean, the, the last couple like, of jobs I've been on, I'm like, oh, hang on, I haven't got that drill bit anymore. Yeah. You, have to, you have to go out and get these, these silly little the things. Yeah, so it is a pain in the arse. But it's but, good uh, that they didn't damage it. Thank you very much for, for keeping me no in business. I, I didn't have any excuse to stay in bed on Monday morning because no, I, I had some Bosch tools to work with. Yes, and, yeah. very good as well. and I kicked Dave very quickly out of the unit because the rugby was on. I was like, right, enough's enough, bite. Yeah. You've got your tools, piss off. Oh yeah, 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 let's see. Have a beer now if you want. Have a beer. You can have a beer, can't they? Oh, not yet. I, I don't know the time. <laughs> you staying tonight as well? Yeah, yeah, tomorrow. so we're here tomorrow. You're here tomorrow as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so staying at a Renault Hotel with CT1 somewhere. You're, you're, actually, you're actually here sort of manning the, the impressive OB1 stand. So if, if you're interested in Nick's white sticky muck, <laughs> I can, I can fill the bottle up if you fancy it. <laughs> yeah. Very expensive. Just don't get it in your hair, it's a bastard. No, 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 yeah. <laughs> and don't get me for child support either. <laughs> Jesus. On the Q-Tech stand with... Paul Rutter. Paul Rutter. Yeah. So I should check that first. <laughs> <laughs> I should but yeah. uh, to, to my shame, I, I don't have any Q-Tech gear. I've got a Kairitsu Q-Snap clamp meter and I've got plenty of Robin stuff. Everybody loves Robin stuff. Loads of Robin stuff. Which obviously is solid and is the ancestor of, of Q-Tech, of course. You've got that absolutely correct, yes. So Robin, Robin was built by Fluke, and then uh, key Robin staff that we went with Fluke split off and did Q-Tech, using the old um, route to market for our products as same factories as we did on Robin Day. So those who remember D-Lock, we've got oh, D-Lock yeah. DNA in our products. <laughs> there's a lot of love for Robin out there uh, to this day. There's a lot of people who, and you know, I, 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 some of my stuff, I, I put a Robin KTS 1610 through calibration just last year, passed with flying colours. I haven't been calibrated since 2007. No trouble at all. Absolutely solid kit. Uh, so it's a bit of a surprise that I don't have any Q-Tech stuff, but here we are with the KT66DL. Uh, I was just saying to your colleague over there that on the Electricians podcast last year, we were talking about what's the best MFT for perhaps new starters. Uh, and Q, the, the KT63 was the, what came out on top. Uh, not, that I've got, not that I've ever used one, but nonetheless, it was the, the, the Q-Tech was the agreed upon brand of, you know, it's solid stuff, it's got a heritage, uh, everybody likes it, can't go wrong with it. So obviously this is a, uh, the, the newer version with the colour screen, because everyone's going colour, of course, these days. Is that the only difference with 
between that and the traditional sort of 63 or no no I think um, as time's gone on uh, loop testing or let's say loop testing has been the one function that's defined mm. a multifunction and uh, as time has gone on we have more electronic noise more switch mode power um, supplies which brings harmonics electronic noise fancy lighting system mm. more electronic noise <clears throat> and now we've got um, you know, the presence of DC with um, solar cells and uh, EV charging yeah so <clears throat> so you said uh, the goods of this thing have been tweaked to not be so noise susceptible perhaps as yes. perhaps older equipment so, was? So for loop testing you've got three issues. You've got electronic noise, RCD uplift, I don't know whether you've ever seen yeah, that. Oh yes, yes. And uh, contact resistance. So the older switch gear used to have a few impurities intentionally put in to increase the impedance so the prospective short circuit current would be a little bit lower because in days gone by each consumer used to have to um, handle 16 ka um, yeah. prospective short circuit and to help that process to help it through the testing some impurities were put in the, in, in the contact so and, and and this sort of now we see that in contact resistance which also can be overcome you can see it if you do a loop test you might see a result you think that's a bit high I'll do another one comes down again and you think which is right you do another one it's a bit lower and you do five or six and then it settles out and and that's the, the current of the test overcoming contact resistance okay I see. Um, so on, on on this device we have uh, six loop tests we have high current uh, a standard 0 0.01 resolution um, and also a 0 0.01. Now this is a genuine 25 amp test. Right. It, it's class leading. Um, and when you're looking for that uh, depth of resolution, you change mains lead to just, you have to tell it which lead you're using because the difference in the uh, resistance of the lead versus the mains lead is significant at that low digit range. All right, the thing about QTEC is, I've never heard anyone say anything bad about the brand, the products, whereas your yeah, mega G flukes, they can be a bit marmite for a lot of people. You get, you get some people who swear by one and hate the other, so to speak. Uh, I think that's the, tr that's the case with a lot of brands, but I've never heard any detractors for Q Tech. Um, well, and that's I think lovely that, to hear from our point of view. I mean, we um, Q Tech are just 100% Britain, so even our two pole testers, um, permanent GS38 tips. No covers, no no nonsense, because we just worry about. Oh, I hate GS thirty eight. They're, they're the first things, <laughs> first things to go. <laughs> you can't get the damn things plugged into anything. <laughs> no, that's right. So 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 our our leads and our two ball testers, the probes are very slender, so you, you still get into deep reach terminals. You don't have to take a, a cover off to do that. Um, so yeah, nice oh, instrument. Yeah. And again, it, going back to the the Robin days. You guys always seem to manage to get a lot into a small form factor, uh, and I think that's the case here with the 6060L. Like that's that is a, a very small instrument for something so well featured, isn't it? Really, when you uh, compare yes. to, to some. Yes, and of course, uh, time has told us that one rotary dial yes. and four soft keys is by far mm. the use, easiest user interface. As long as the dust stays yeah. out of the rotary dial, you're all right. But yes, uh, the touch screens can, again a bit marmite. Some people say, well. We prefer them because they're, they're more dust resistant and some people get lost within the menu structure. It's, it's, I like a dial personally, you can see exactly what it's pointed to and you know what the stuff on the screen relates to. But uh, yeah, nice instrument, thank you for your time. Thank you very nice much. Nice to have a chat Yeah. Afternoon Hager Group. Hi. Ask the experts, you're the expert. Well, apparently so. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to talk AFDDs? Really? Mm. You don't want to answer any questions at all? Mm. No, I, I appreciate that, yeah, that's probably the case, but obviously these questions are going to keep cropping up. It'd be nice, you know, to address them. I'll take it you don't want to. Well, thank you anyway.
Sorry, I don't like your product. <laughs> oh, they didn't like that, did they? Frosty. Frosty reception from Hager there. <laughs> I'll be back. Dan Bryant, Bryant Electrical. Woohoo! My uh, real name. Uh, uh, first time at the show, Dan? No, I came here just at the, after Covid. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So a quieter affair, I imagine. Yeah, yeah, there was nothing here. <laughs> 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 but but there, well, there is now because we're standing at QTech and you're just about to be sold the sales demo from our man at QTech here. But we, we were talking yesterday, of course, about the instruments. Uh, I, I can't remember what we what, what, we're caught on camera now, so I'll, I might repeat myself a few times, but uh, I'll, it'll all wash out in the edit, don't worry. But uh, we were saying about uh, your, your Robin heritage and the fact that you can, uh, on your even on more entry level models, they're so well featured and well packaged, it, it really sort of uh, gives, gives a nod to the Robin heritage because you always managed to squeeze a lot into a small product back then, didn't you? And I think that's still the case here with the, the 63DL. Yes, yeah, indeed, and, and this one has uh, a low energy screen. It's a nice cost, clear LCD cost, that, isn't it? Cost, yes. And an automatic um, backlight, so again, saving energy. Uh, we have all the functions you expect on a multifunction, uh, a no-trip loop, a high current through loop, continuity, uh, 250, 500, and 1,000 volts insulation. I, 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 might, I might have to get me one of these just because, like I, I've said many times before, I, QTech is just the one brand I don't have, but it's one I really like, so I don't know, that's a bit weird. But I do like that, that test, that's, that's a lot that you can just stick into your toolbox and we'll go, in fact, Dan should be buying one of these. Dan, how, how much are these? Are they, uh, are they about £100? <laughs> <laughs> the first one I brought is a temporary from a back of my We've got Ricky Byrne here as well. Sorry, I didn't even see you there without my glasses on. No, nice to see you, Ricky. Actually, Ricky from Byrne Electric in person, yes, yes. Well, we just brought one of these as a backup last year because my 65 died when we had that divert neutral current. Oh, right, so okay. So that's now my spare tester. Um, and I think they were around 6 six fifty ish Yeah. Um, but what my favourite feature about these is the old magnets. You've yes, the you were saying about that yesterday, weren't you? Just, yeah. You do have to do a bit of lead swapping though between the dead and the live tests. Yeah. So, so again, a bit, maybe a bit of the Robin heritage for yeah, yeah. Um, live testing, you've got to slide your slide across. Uh, and dead testing, you do those two. But what that means, it saves you a whole bunch of relays internally with your creepers and clearances. So less, so, less clicking and clacking and a smaller form factor. Exactly. So, so look at the space saving. Yes. And, and in turn, that means it's a lighter unit, longer battery life, and you can have magnets that click onto the metal distribution unit. So it's a really handy tool. Well, I, I, I can't remember if we said on the camera yesterday, but it was Electrician's Podcast last year, QTech was the, the favoured go-to for new entrants. Uh, and I think you can't go wrong with a 63DL, 660 or whatever it is. Not a lot for an MFT, is it? Not when you're comparing yeah. it to some of the top-end metros, the yeah. Mega X1. I mean, you're not going to get anything from doing grand from Mega, are you? Unless you're buying second-hand. Do you do uh, <laughs> trade-ins on an old metro <laughs> and an old Mega? <laughs> a metro with blown fuses. <laughs> and a Mega that failed its calibration. But yeah, you never know. You never yeah, know. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the other thing, of course, it comes in a nice carry bag that you've got room for. Box. Soft case. Soft case. Yeah, yeah. now it's going straight in the bin. Yeah. I don't like soft case. You can spend that much money on an instrument. It needs to be in, a, in something that's going to survive on the back of the bag. I'd rather put it in my in my main toolbox than, than, than use a soft case. Just personally speaking. Get one of those as well, Dave, for your missing one. Single for, function? For the, my Nick Tyoki. What I find on fault finding, I, I said this in a recent video, is I like to leave my big old, actually it's a Robin KTS 1625 if you remember such things, I like to leave that back at the board with all its lit cables there and all its paraphernalia and go around, I, I was going around with a Hioki uh, 3490 which is the same sort of thing but analogue uh, until it got mixed last week but it was just handy to have that sort of small instrument that you could run around with. Uh, I've actually replaced it with a, a Robin 1610 now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so hey, I, hey, I'm hey, sticking hey. with the old school. How much is that one then? But that's a very handy thing to have. So it is, and, and of course, the electronic side of this is, is, is the insulation continuity is more robust. It, it's an easier circuit to do. 
and um, so you're not risking your... your yeah, it, it's just easier to run around with a smaller instrument. So, I'm a techie guy and you're asking me all these complicated questions. <laughs> and it's not on there. It's not oh, on the list. There you go. It's free. What is it? <laughs> yeah, if it's not listed, it's going to be free. Uh, the KT300DL. Go yeah. Google that, folks. <laughs> well, thanks for your time, gentlemen. Uh, Linda's turned up. What are you spending money on? Uh, I want to go and see the German. Oh, the, oh that inspection camera thing. Fucking hell, girl. And I've also bought, I bought the sharpening kit. All oh, right. Woodworking? woodworking stuff. Yeah. Not silly. And this, you know those jaw bits that go through absolutely every cobalt? Yeah. You've got to look all, this, got to look all this back on the train, you know. There's so many freebies, you can't believe it. This, all of these were free. I've had no free. I've had a, I've had a couple of pens. Why can't you get another freebies? I like that one. I really did. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Someone's got the charm. Well, it ain't me. <laughs> Here we are at stand. P140. Well, I, was, I, was, I was hoping you were going to say the name so I wouldn't mispronounce it, actually. <laughs> Volo? Volo UK, yeah. Volo UK, yeah. Uh, uh, jolly good. And uh, we've got some very exciting things here. Uh, th th things we find exciting, don't we, Linda? <laughs> Which are the in inspection camera We've got camera two, uh, gear. two endoscopes, high definition inspection cameras. Yeah, I, I, can, I can film me on that one. We've got one on the seven inch screen, and then we've got one at five inch screen. Um, both high definition. Crystal clear images, as you can see. Yeah, and We've a got very fine endoscope. So this is this 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 probe is actually a 3.9 mil in diameter um, and a meter long, and we do various diameter probes, various length probes, up to 10 meters in length. Um, so that's our that's our V400 model. We can take images, can take videos, um, and then what we can do is we have the V500 version, and this has. A camera, a forward-facing camera here, as you can see. Then we've also got the press of a button. We've got a camera at 90 degrees as well. Oh, there you go. And then a further push of the button, and you've actually access to both cameras. So you can split screen to see what's in front of you and what's at 90 degrees. And again, the probes are interchangeable, so you can have from a metre up to 10 metres. Um, yeah. well, I, 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 you were saying, Miriam, that uh, you've got one end that's rotatable in some kind of way yeah, as well. Swiveling camera. Swiveling camera. Yes. Tell us more about that. Because I, I always thought with my endoscope, wouldn't it be marvellous to have a swiveling camera on the end of the stuff? I think we call it boroscope. It has a little wheel over here. Okay. Just trying to wheel, then the camera head just goes back and right. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the Very well demonstrated. Yeah, very well demonstrated. That, that's what we like. Yes. Uh, I guess you have all sorts of trouble endoscope cameras. I find I've only got a very basic one myself. Super odd, of course, are doing their rod ended ones. Yes. Uh, you, I find you need a bit of a, a mixture of these sort of things. Some some work better in some environments yes. and some work better in others. But uh, I, I, like, I like the look of them. What, who, who are they retailing for? Uh, no, no, you can buy direct through Vola. Oh, okay. So through Vola, we can uh, deal directly with the uh, with the end user, with the consumer. Is that Vola.co.uk? Vola.co.uk, yes. Um, and yeah, everything is listed on our web shop. Well, she's going to be buying one lady. She's always buying something. <laughs> no use for it, but you'll, you'll be buying it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for your time. No problem. I'm sorry about the audio. We've got this, this guy yapping away in the background. We can't get rid of him. Absolutely fine. So, yeah. He's doing my hangover, right? <laughs> Stand. Now, I've seen you at Lex before. Yeah. You were at Coventry last year, I believe. I was. Uh, for some reason, I never got around to the visiting year. I think even though I was there for two days, it's, it's funny how many stands you, you sometimes miss. But you guys, well, you, you're famous. We are. I don't know about famous. Oh, I remember seeing you on Dragon's Den. I actually saw that episode. I don't normally watch Dragon's Den. I remember seeing it. I can remember at the time, I thought... I'm not convinced about that, yeah. so, but, but we had a look yesterday and uh, it does look like a very interesting product. Yes. Well, it's the, the Viper Club, it's a cable gun. Uh, again? Any kind of gun is going to be fun for, for us to use. We, we'll be probably firing that at each other across the room. <laughs> well, it will not fire. Ah. You have to be over the oh, Pesky safety override. Yes. <laughs> On this this clip that I have in right now is 2.5 fire radius. Oh, okay. So very easy to use. Over the cable. 
Pleasure, Jagger. With a, a satisfying thunk. A satisfying <laughs> thunk. Now, originally, I presume when you were on Dragon's Den, that must have been a few years ago. Now, what year was that? Yeah, that was. We were filmed in 2019. Right. And it went on air in 2020. Right, yes. March. Just, just in time for COVID, I expect. <laughs> but did you have to uh, change the product for uh, fire rating or anything like that? Yes. Or is it something. Yeah, yeah right, okay. So. When we were on Dragon's Den, everything was uh, plastic. Plastic strip, plastic nails. 18th edition regulations were just coming out that time. Yeah. So we changed everything to suit. Changed the nails, the metal nails. We put a little bridge over the top to make it fire rated. And then we sent these to BASAC. Basic tested. Yes. And what kind of materials can you thunk yeah, these yeah, into? Just not uh, masonry. Yeah, that, if you could make a masonry one, that'd be amazing. Yeah, well, that's, a, that <laughs> that's the holy grail, isn't it? Yeah. So where are you guys retailing the product? We are retailing it through the wholesalers at the minute. It all, is, all the major ones. Yeah, at yeah. the minute. Yes, electrical yeah, uh, tool station took the first order. A tool station, that'd be a useful one for... Uh, Ease of access for most people. Yeah. But most of the major yeah. wholesalers, Edmondson's Electric Center, CEF. Yeah, yeah. If I go to my CEF branch manager, is very small-minded and hasn't got a coffee machine. I'm sure that he'll give me a hard time if I ask for anything that's not on the shelf. It's quite a time-saving device, though. When you're yeah. well, one thing I really hate is hammering in key clips for the bane of my life. You're up a ladder trying to whack it in, you hit your thumb, or it pings off into the distance. Yes. Yeah. So it's uh, it's, it's nice to see a, an alternative solution. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. That's Sam, Electrician's Podcast. This is I. So, previously, we've spoken about, well, we've done a podcast off the back of your videos about the Hager AFDD. They might be behind us. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a little stand somewhere. I'm not quite yeah, sure no, where I don't know are. where it is. But the uh, the offending module, um, not tripping. It's an interesting one, yes. Uh, in my amateur setup, I've not been able to. Well, you say amateur. It. Uh, the likes of Will at Verso. They applaud your setup. They say it's quite good. Oh, well, really? Right. Um, nice to hear. Haven't they asked you to, at some point, make one or make something similar for them? Uh, we, well, I don't know. We, uh, we tested their, their product, tested a few products, and gathered a few more products. So you might be able to see a video very soon of the likes of uh, perhaps Chintz, uh, Garrow, uh, oh, there's a couple of others. Uh, CPNQ this, we've got one of their modules, maybe so, a skull more Lucian. So there'll be more to put through the ringer. So, you know, that, that'll, that'll tell us whether it's a, a, a problem with the testing setup or not. The thing is, it's 100% sort of success for everybody else at the moment, even for Hager's ARC model, but not for. So their I think. Um, smart module. I think. So I had a chat with them earlier on. Yeah, I'll, uh, just, to, just to preface this, I don't know if I've already shown this to me, but I had a chat with them yesterday, asked if they would answer the, the various questions, and they gave me a fres- very frosty Yeah, so away. I had a chat with, uh, I think it is, oh, one of their technical, uh, guys. Their technical guys. guys to work for, and um, he got very angry with me, uh, and told me to fuck off, basically. <laughs> so that was quite interesting, because uh, I basically asked the same question. If it works with all the others, like if David's art chamber works with the other models and doesn't work with the Hager, is that a problem with David's chamber, or if he's got 100% across all the other um, AFDDs that he's tested? It's not even that. It's the, the problem that we've got is the smart tech, and they're the first company to put smart tech into a protective device, and the whole onus of that is on the installer. If I choose not to update, or if I choose to update. Well, the liabilities on me it seems for how that device behaves in the future and if I attempt to update and it gets bricked the liability is probably on me to have to source a replacement here's the thing 
as an electrician, and this is what I said to him, I said, as an electrician and as a host of a podcast for electricians who are on the front line fitting this day in, day out, mm-hmm. what happens when they don't perform? Who's? I'm not going to fit that with any certainty or any sort of, um, like, I'm not going to fit a Hager based off of your video. No, well, neither am I. <laughs> exactly. But this is the problem, isn't it? Is that uh, so? Where's they, the confidence? They've, they've kind of lost the plot with the the front line, with the the, of the people who are actually buying and installing this stuff. Well, here's a kicker. You know what he said? He's, I said, so I if I watch David's video and I don't have any confidence in that video, in your product because of that video, what do I do? And you know what the answer was? And this is gospel. Don't buy them then. Fair enough. The trouble is that I can choose not to buy them, but their website says that if I'm undertaking any ICR and I come across this stuff, then it's my responsibility to check that they are updated, check that they're functioning. So what do you again. do? Just go, do you know what? I can't do it. It's well, a Hager RCBR or this Hager is why, ASDD. This is why I've had to introduce terms and conditions to say I, I can't touch them without the duty holder's permission. So have you actually specifically said the Hager AFDD can't be touched without... Yeah, I, I've got specific terms and conditions on my website which says I recommend you don't install these and if you do, then the onus is all on the duty holder. I'm not having anything to do with them. Oh, that's hilarious. Because, and it's not just because it's Hager, of course. It's it, with any smart tech device, any smart tech in a protected device, I've got to protect myself in that kind of way. Well, they, just be, well, they just have to be the first to market with something. I think with this, and I think what the takeaway from today is... If you're not confident in Hager, as Hager have actually, the official statement is, don't buy it. Yeah, and uh, fuck you if you ask questions yeah, about it. <laughs> definitely not allowed to ask questions about it. I think they have uh, shot themselves in the foot a little. Massive, especially, especially with me today. Uh, and all of us who are on the coal face, because they, they can't tell us, or won't tell us, the answers to the questions we got about this project. So your AFDD um, saga that you've had on YouTube might have reached 100,000 eyeballs. Maybe. <laughs> so, 100,000 electricians have viewed your videos and have now, well, if, they, if they are of the right mind, same as you and me. That's one thing about the audience here is that it does tend to be proper electricians. And this for is the it. Most part, same, with, same with my podcast. The basic, the basic outcome of this is a load of proper electricians on the front line fitting these day in, day out are now have no confidence in mm. Hager. That's what I'm hearing. And, and, and you're seeing it as well on things like forums and stuff. So, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it, you can see and, it on the grapevine. And grape tripping with the Hager device. So one of the things that the, uh, the technical guy here who said, do you know who I am to me, said um, <laughs> their device won't work on your um, arc chamber because their device is so much better than everyone else's it won't be fooled by your chamber. That's fine, that's fine. I wish they'd tell me that because they won't tell me anything at that, all. That was what he told me. Yeah. Uh, I found that quite an extraordinary claim. Yes, I, I think I, th- I think it's a tough call, isn't it? When you can say that there's a 100% success rate with everybody else. But, you know, we'll just have to see. We'll have a play with a few more. We've got a few more from the show. Uh, so we'll put, some, put something else out in March. Listen. Uh, and we'll see what, see what happens. It's exciting times. It's something that's come out We've seen it fail on your on your channel. It's not definitive. By no means is your or your test definitive. No, no. But it's not to your IEC 606. It's not to any standards. It's to drunken idiot standards. Yeah. Which is fair. And that's what he said as well. He said, why would we take uh, any interest in something a drunken idiot <laughs> is doing? And I was like, well that's his shtick. You know? Like I can do with a drink right now, actually. I know, and you shouldn't be held accountable for any of these opinions because you're a drunken idiot. But there you go, but, you know, the facts kind of speak for themselves, don't you? It either works or it doesn't. And if all of the other ones you've tested work. may or may not be involved. But, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, I can't show it working. And it's not like you've got a vendetta against Hager. But you uh, you did award them a prestigious award. Shit, it's product of the year. Yeah, I, I don't think it was quite worded that way, was it? it was, uh, worst product. Uh, worst product of the year. Uh, and you sent them a trophy. <laughs> we uh, did. Did you ask if they'd received that? Um, I did not. Maybe I should. Hmm. I don't think they're ready to talk to us now. No, no. 
quite. I, I think the security are on their way, so uh, it's a good job it's the end of day too. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Let's go, mate. Let's go and get a beer. Always good to catch up with electrical yeah. safety first. We're right at the end of the show now. In fact, uh, look, he's, he's packing it all up. So, uh, have you had a good show, but a lot of footfall? Yeah, for sure. And uh, it's nice to be on the other end of it because from being a, a visitor for a number of years to be exhibiting and we delivered a, a presentation on what's your excuse for safe isolation while you're not doing it? Yes, because yes. still too many deaths. And uh, I'll tell you what, while you're on, Dave, I'll pick uh, you one out. Oh, OK, OK. And you've I'm got, uh, what's the worst that could happen? We see a number of... <laughs> what can go wrong? Yeah, excuses, and there shouldn't be an excuse in this day and age. There's too many fatalities, too many injuries. You know, follow the procedure, you've got to have free guidance, get yourself a safe isolation kit, proving unit. You know, there shouldn't be an excuse for it. So, But it's been good, it's been good footfall. Yes, we bumped into you at the last Alex, didn't we? Uh, right. you, you guys were, uh, you weren't just visiting, visiting, were you? Just just visiting, visiting, yeah. So you've actually got your stand up and running yeah, here. Is this yeah. the first time you've exhibited? Yes, or? mate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, exciting um, times. Had some good conversations with lots of sparks uh, and other organisations. And um, it's, been, it's been really good. Overall, it's been really worth it. It's always nice to see yourself and other people around. So that's no, been good. Very kind of you to say so. <laughs> <laughs> that's some, good, some people haven't been quite so happy to see our presence, but uh, never mind. But so you're going to be doing all the shows this year? No, but this was just um, like a bit of a feeler to see, you know, uh, how it went and the football and, you know, see how it goes basically. But I hope so. I hope to be back. Yeah, it'd be nice. So you, you, you yeah. think you'll do commentary later on in the year? That's probably the I hope so. It's closest next to, to where, we, where we live. But yeah, of course. Del it's delivering the same message. We had a, a beer just last week. Yes, I, I might have had more than one. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it's important to, to, to remind people of their obligation to get them. Work safely, go to work, go home. Yes, and, and don't forget those best practice guides. They're all out yep. there, free to download. Free to download, yeah. But nice to chat again. Brilliant, mate. Thanks Thank for your time. Cheers, yeah, sorry. Get it all packed up. He's all right. Jesus, you need to get it to themselves. I'll do that in my sleep. She gets around. We may have had too much to drink at this point, but we're still in the bar. And we're having fun. Alex, Ali, Pally. And we've got, uh, got Jason here. And I'm from Murr. Yeah, Murr. Pure energy from Stackhouse. Stackhouse. I haven't got my glasses on. <laughs> I can't see what <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, unfortunately, you have to work with John. I'm sorry about that. Or John Faultless that's sitting there. He told me everything I know. And, he, uh, oh, okay. and that's why I'm so good as I am. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, doing, we're just doing a wrap up. I'm so good at what I do because of you. Oh, oh, carry on, carry on, carry on. Let, let Jay speak. The, the hero. <laughs> uh, he's desperate to go out for a cigarette. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, you guys have had a good show, I take it? Yeah, it's been great. Thank you. Is that a cigarette? Is that a cigarette? Well, it's, yeah. I, I don't know what that is, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's not a cigar, that's for damn sure. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Tottenham cigarette. <laughs> Tottenham cigarette. That sounds like some kind of beating. <laughs> John? Shall I stand up? No, no, you, you find out. I, I can bend down. I'm, I'm flexible enough to flick about stuff. So. Good show? It's been quite good, yeah. I, I didn't buy anything, but I've got some free things. So. Well, that's well, always important. Lots yeah. of free pens myself with that. That's about it. Oh, I did get a super comeback from... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shout out Super Rod for, for giving me a request with Super Cam. Yeah, mine got nicked last week in my toolbox. <laughs> yeah, Super Rod gave me some free attachments because I, I wanted to buy it just one of these and they just said take it. I think they felt, they felt sorry for me. It's nice to see a company that, that supports Poor these people, sort of shows yeah. and yeah, <laughs> as poor sparks out in the world. Yeah. Here he is, Will's Electrical. Oh, yeah. Good show? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good to meet up with a few faces from Instagram and that. Oh, I, and don't know, I don't know about this Motley crew. Fucking hell. Chances, <laughs> isn't it? Absolute chances. They belong on a wanted poster, if you ask me. Yeah. <laughs> They've got all got your toes. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I you broke into my van last week. You missed out on the gorilla bucket. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. Ricky at Burn? Yo, you alright? Yeah. I'm only on my first point, promise. <laughs> <laughs> Good show, old boy. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Um, a bit of a chat with Hager today. Yeah, uh, very good, buddy. We all had a bit of a chat with Hager. Yeah. Some of us got on better than others, I fear. So, how was it for you? That no, wasn't too <laughs> bad. It's the first time, and. Uh, uh, what, Ali Pally or Alex? No, Ali Pally's second time, but I can't remember the first time. Uh, I'm not going to remember no, this. Time. <laughs> 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 
actually all I remember is falling down that hill the first time. So. Uh, but now this was roll down the hill back to the bus stop. The red box, the red bull smoke box. Gentlemen, bonjour, bonjour. Uh, how was it for you? Deals could have been better. Uh, really? You think, uh, yeah, I, I think that uh, there's a lot of stalls that advertise sort of show deals, and then you you, you fire up the old uh, the Google. You know what? We we do have phones, so you can fire up the old Google, and you go, you know what? It's that kind of price anyway. I remember um, at Coventry looking at a Dewalt trolley, and uh, they had a show special on it, and then I found it was cheaper in Screwfix by a quid. It was okay, but it was no CEF. CF Live. Yeah. Out of ten times. Uh, top tier. It, well, that was a high bar, I must admit, but it is a lot less frequent. So at least you know you, you get something that, that's that's more frequent here. But uh, but yeah, show deals. You got a bit skeptical about the show deals. Did you get anything? <laughs> <there? laughs> I bought nothing. Nothing. No. You fucking waste. Get out of here. <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> pizza and oh, beer. Pizza, yeah. <laughs> what do we get? Oh, yeah. so awesome. You got what you asked for. Oh, he's gone for the pepperoni. Is that it? There we go. And then the rum and coke. <laughs> you can tell we're all getting the train tonight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no people. <laughs> and finally, Dan, the man. David. How was it for you? Very good. Uh, now, you parted with cash. Uh, did you? What did you yes. buy? Oh yes, yes, you got the, the, the super. I gave you some yellow super odds, didn't I? Yeah, I'll keep breaking them. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll post it to you. <laughs> <laughs> you might see Dan on future videos because he occasionally buddies up and takes Nigel's place as yeah. the doing the person on the van sitting in the passenger seat. <laughs> yeah, doing, yeah, doing the shit I don't want to do. Yeah, basically, yeah. Nice, but uh, just like Nigel did. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and here she is modelling her. Velocity's jacket. Velocity are... Uh, a bit controversial. A bit controversial at the moment. Show your fanny pack. Show your fanny pack. Oh, yeah. I mean, she, she's got her... Tool sporran. Tool sporran. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to the wrong mic. Yeah. Wrong mic. Um, <laughs> my fanny pack keeps my fanny warm. You heard it here first. I didn't say that. Someone else said that. OK. I think <laughs> the video evidence proves... I've never played that. You missed JR. <laughs> Hello. Did you enjoy the show? Um, it was my first time, and I don't think I'll be back. Virgin? A virgin. Um, it didn't live up to the hype to me, so I don't think I'll be back. Oh, bloody hell. Well, that's about it. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you very much. So, uh, what, what disappointed you? Um, Dave, you're not having JR Electrical. Yeah, yeah well, well, this is it. This, uh, we're getting, like, you know... Proper feedback. Content. Yeah, as Jamie Blayton would say. Yeah, no, for me, I don't know, it, it just didn't live up to the hype. Um, it was just a bunch of stalls trying to flog me shit that I didn't need. Alex 2024. <laughs> Thank you so much, and uh, catch you uh, in commentary later this year. <laughs>